Hi guys and girls, it's Void Walker here, bringing you tips and tricks for crew skills and a guide on how to develop the system properly. If you find this guide useful, feel welcome to like and subscribe, and if you need any more advice, leave a comment below. Crew skills is a valuable resource for, for you whilst exploring the rich galaxy of Star Wars, but what hero has time to devote themselves personally to so many pursuits. Crew skill system allows you to take advantage of everything the galaxy has to offer by sending your companion to do jobs whilst you continue to adventure. There are three different headings for crew skills which are gathering, crafting and mission skills which all have subcategories for you to train your crew in. Depending on your class there will be a certain skills that you want to develop. I wasted a lot of time at this part so I will save you a lot of pain and a lot of gain for your character. I have a, date, a, great, I have a great diagram at the end explaining which skills will work together for all classes. Gathering skills include archaeology, bioanalysis, scavenging and slicing so you will send your companion across the galaxy to gather resources which you can use with crafting skills. Crafting skills include armor tech, arms tech, artifice, biochem, cybertech and synth weaving. So this is the art of crafting skills for your character which work with the gathering resource skills. Oh look I just got rejected by a group finding flashpoint that makes me sad. Oh well let's get back to the video guys. Mission skills include diplomacy, investigation, treasure hunting and underworld trading. Mission skills can give you light and dark side points and also give you companion gifts to increase your affection with your companion. To check your codex for crew skills, all you need to press is L if you haven't already binded it to something else. That's my companion returning from a mission now with some resources I can use to craft. To open up your crew skills menu, just click on the button above your companion's head in the bottom left corner. The maximum amount of crew skills for any companion is three if you are a subscriber, two if you have preferred status and one if you are free to play. But don't worry guys, you can use different companions to use different skills to get the desired combinations you want. I truly believe if you get used to using the crew skill system in Star Wars, it will enrich your experience of playing the game. Imagine on a flashpoint, you're taking down enemies and you can scavenge some unique rare material to go and make your companion craft which you can then sell on for more credits. So you're generating credits as you're playing the game. I can't see any better idea of sending your companion out whilst you're doing adventures and making money from it. All right, guys and girls, it's about time I showed you my golden nugget. In the diagram, we have four shoes as shown in green, which include Jedi Knight and Jedi Counselor on the Republic side. And for the Empire side, we have Sith Warrior and Sith Inquisitor. Now we move on to the non-force user characters, as shown in red, which include Trooper and Smuggler on the Republic side, and for the Empire side, we have Imperial Agent and Bounty Hunter. Also, the blue line represents all classes, which obviously means everyone can use it. So first, let me explain force user combinations for crew skills, which are Archaeology under the Gathering skills, Artifice and Synth weaving under the crafting skills and for mission skills we have treasure hunting which links to artifice and we have underworld trading which links to synth weaving. I will move on to non-force users and their combinations in the crew skills which are scavenging under gathering, armor tech and arms tech under crafting. For mission skills we have underworld trading which links to armor tech and we also have investigation which links to arms tech. Last but not least, we have all classes combinations which include bioanalysis and scavenging under gathering, biochem which links to bioanalysis, we also have cybertech which links to scavenging under the crafting skills. Under mission skills we have diplomacy which links to biochem and underworld trading which links to cybertech. That brings my diagram to a close. I hope you found it useful and if you did, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and if you want to leave a comment below you can. This video was brought to you by Voidwalker.